Hey y'all, my name is Brianna. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So first, I want to apologize for my appearance right now. Sis has been taking her finals for the last two days and I'm tired, honey, I'm tired. But tomorrow is the last day of the semester, so I'm just trying to push through so I can get a break until the end of August and just relax. So we almost there, we almost at the finish line, y'all. I wanted to go ahead and create this content for you guys because it's been highly suggested by a lot of my subscribers. So today I'm going to make a what's in my clinical bag video. Y'all, I'm not even about to lie. This is my third time filming this video. Something keeps going on on my phone, so we're gonna see how this goes and I'm praying I don't have to do this again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video so that I can show you guys what all that I have. So as you guys know from my past vlogs, I am in my mental health and community health um, clinical rotations this semester. And the stuff that I'm about to show you, I actually did not really have to take any of this with me. <laughs> there was only a couple things I had to take, but like I wanted to make this video for you guys because I know a lot of you are getting ready to go into your clinical rotations or just starting nursing school or whatever the reason may be. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video for you guys so that you had an idea of what you needed to bring with you to your clinical rotations. So the first thing that I have is my backpack. So if you guys watched my acceptance journey video, you know that I went to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I graduated in 2015. So I've had this backpack for a long time. And I'm glad that it's like still in good condition cause this backpack was not cheap. You know them collegiate merchandise are not cheap. So I'm glad that this, I got my money's worth with this backpack, okay. But yes, this is the backpack that I take to all of my clinical rotations. Next, I wanted to go ahead and show you my stethoscope. I got my stethoscope and I also have my, sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I also have my stethoscope case. Um, my best friend got me this case when I started nursing school, so it came in really handy. It's my favorite color. I love everything about it. It has a nice little insert. Um, I put my stethoscope on this side, and then I put my other things that I'm about to show you on the other side. But yes, I have my stethoscope here. It's supposed to be a really pretty teal color, and it came out darker than I thought it was going to be, but I still love it. So I do have a Litman, and... I love it. So this is my stethoscope. Within my um, stethoscope case, I have my pen light. So <laughs> I have my pen light. So when I do my um, head to toe assessments, when I go in with my patients, I make sure I have this when I do my eye assessment of the patient. And this pen light right here has a ruler on it and it also has um, the dilation uh, sizes on it, the pupil sizes on here. So I love this uh, pen light and I got it off of Amazon. I will go ahead and link the stuff that I remember in the description box below. So I will go ahead and do that for you guys. I like to keep my water bottle or my coffee cup with me. And sometimes when I finish my coffee, I'll rinse the cup out and fill it with ice water so that I can keep myself hydrated throughout the day because you don't get a whole lot of time to like go and get water. So you can keep these with you. Um, the nurses let you keep them sometimes in the cabinets at the nursing stations or sometimes with you depending on where you're at. So yes, I like to keep my uh, water bottle or coffee mug with me at all times. Isn't this cute? I love this coffee mug. And then of course you have to have your badge with you. I keep my badge with me. I keep it on my uniform actually and not in my clinical bag, but I wanted to include this because this is very important to keep with you. It helps to identify you during your clinical rotation. And so I have mine attached to this badge clip. And then I keep pens on here just in case I don't have my Sharpie S gel pens with me. I can just clip this right off of here and use the pen and click it back on. So this is very convenient as well. Next, I like to carry this little notebook with me because I personally like to take notes when I'm at clinical, when I'm following my nurses around, just in case there's information that maybe I didn't learn in class or information that may be useful um, to me in my nursing career. 
So I wanted to um, bring this up because this comes in very handy when it's time to take notes. It fits right in my scrub pants and so it's not very, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I love taking my little, little notebook with me and then after I take notes in here, I just transfer it to something bigger or on my laptop so that I can have it for um, like a document of all the information that I've learned throughout this clinical rotations. Next, I don't know how other schools do their clinicals, but my clinical rotations require us to complete these things called clinical packets, which look like this. And so this was my mental health clinical packet. And it's about 12 pages long. You just um, document your health assessments. You document... Okay, I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it just did it again. But anyways, like I was saying, um, the clinical packet allows you to document your narrative nursing note using the soap, pie, or focus charting format. You can document your lab findings, medications that the patient is taking, any diagnostic tests they're taking, and then it has you do a clinical reflection at the end. So we have to complete these. It depends on the clinical instructor how many get done or how many you do, but we have to make sure to get our clinical packets done for every clinical rotation. So I also keep my clinical rotation, my clinical rotation, my clinical packet <laughs> in my clinical bag. Now, if you guys have been watching my patient care tech vlogs, you'll know that I talk about these a lot. I highly recommend these all the time. And so um, if you need something to write with, the Sharpie S gel pens are amazing. They write really well. They write smooth. They don't smudge. I just, I love everything about these pens. So if you're looking for a good pen suggestion, I highly recommend the Sharpie S gel pens. Next, I like to take my planner with me. This is one of my favorite things because I'm I like to be organized, of course, as you guys know. Um, I like to take my planner because it has all of my due dates, um, anything like that. Um, and if a clinical instructor tells us like assignments that we might have to do that aren't listed in our syllabus or anywhere else, I can go ahead and write them in my planner so that I know when to turn them in. So I like to take my planner with me as well. I'm sad because this one is gonna be done at the end of this month, so I'm gonna have to get another one, but I'm gonna see if I can find another one like this because this was a great planner and my best friend also got me this for the start of nursing school. So next, I <laughs> like to keep my drug books, and yes, I said books, in my clinical bag. So I got this one for pharmacology and it's very, very helpful. It, le it um, lists the different patient teachings, the adverse effects and everything like that in here. But then I also got this book because I was required to get this for another class, but they told me that it was different and I realized that it's pretty much the same book. Um, the only difference with this is it lists the desired outcomes and any uh, nursing diagnosis that might correlate with the medications that the patient is taking. So I do have both of these drug books. There are app versions of these drug books on iPhone. So if you don't want to carry a book around, you can definitely look for the app on your iPhone. Next, I like to take this mini calculator with me. There are some clinical rotations that do not um, let you take phones on the unit. So if you need to do something like a medication calculation or anything like that, I like to make sure that I have a calculator handy just so that I'm able to use it for that reason. I also like to keep my shears with me just in case I need to cut like patient bandages or even pieces of paper, <laughs> but um, they're really nice to keep in handy. And this is another thing that I like to keep in the side pocket of my stethoscope case um, so that if I need it, I know exactly where I can find something that I can cut with. Now, we've been wearing masks for months y'all for months and y'all know that under the mask your lips start hurting they be getting dry under there sometimes then you be licking your lips and your lips start hurting because you're licking them so much so i like to keep my chapstick in my clinical bag i keep my chapstick in my clinical bag because i don't like the feeling of having to keep licking my lips and being uncomfortable so i like to keep this in there as well Next, I wear glasses and I know I have to use the computer a lot for charting and so I keep my eyeglass cleaner and my eyeglass cleaner wipe in my bag at all times so that 
when my glasses get dirty, I can go ahead and clean them and be able to see, to be able to do my charting and look at the computer and everything for clinical. Next, I promise y'all, I'm not broke. Like, I'm not broke broke, but I'm like nursing school broke, okay? <laughs> but I like to keep money in my clinical bag and I promise it's more than this, but this is just an example, so don't come for me. But I like to keep money in my clinical bag because um, sometimes at the beginning of the semester, certain hospitals have you pay for your badges. Um, a lot of the time they reimburse you at the end of the semester, but they do have you pay for your badges. So I like to keep money, especially at the beginning of the semester in my bag, just for that reason, just in case. And also if you're going to lunch and you get hungry and you didn't pack a lunch to bring with you, it's nice to have money with you so that you can buy yourself some lunch to have that energy to go through the rest of that clinical rotation for the day. Next, I know a lot of clinical rotations um, want you to have the watch with the hands on it which I do have one of those watches. I just put that up actually, let's see. This is from Nursemates and I do have one of those, but honestly, I just wear my Apple Watch to clinical. There is a faceplate on here that has the same hands on this watch um, that you can put on here. And whenever I need to use that, if I need to use it, because a lot of the time you don't really have to use that, I can just switch it to that faceplate and use that on my Apple Watch. And then I'm also able to track my steps and everything that I'm doing throughout the day, which is a lot. So I like that um, I have the option of wearing my Apple Watch to my clinical rotations. Lastly, some personal stuff that I like to keep in my clinical bag, of course, are some hair ties. With a lot of us being females, we always need a hair tie. <laughs> and at clinical rotations, they don't like you to wear your hair down because one, you can get your hair into anything like that you might experience with your patients. That could be blood, that could be vomit, that could be any kind of liquids and you don't really want that in your hair so make sure to tie your hair up when you go to clinical keep some hair ties in your bag just in case yours breaks or in case somebody else might need one um i like to keep these in my backpack just in case and then of course i like to keep tampons and stuff in my bag just in case i might need it you never know when you'll when you'll have an emergency um, or if somebody else has an emergency. So I like to keep these in my bag uh, just in case it gets to that time of the month and I don't have anything with me. I know that I'll always have it in my clinical bag. I do keep masks in my bag. I know hospitals provide masks, like there are masks all over the hospital now. It's not really scarce anymore, but I do like to keep masks in my bag just in case I might need one or in case they don't have any more on the floor that I might need. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I take with me. I really can't think of anything else that I bring with me. So yeah, you don't need a whole lot for clinical. Just make sure that you have your required materials. Um, you have something that you can write with, something that you can write on, just in case you want to write down any other information that you may want um, to write down or that's interesting to you. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and link the stuff that I remember down in the description box below. And if you need anything else from me, if you have any questions or anything about the stuff that I bring with me to my clinical rotations, make sure to ask me in the comments. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this now and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.